Zambali Lodge, one of the newest and most glam locations on Natal's north coast, provided the perfect backdrop for a fashion shoot uniting two of South Africa's legendary beauties, Annalene Krill Bacon and Penny Ray Coolin. Last photographed together in 1994, today, some 25 years later, they're potent proof that real beauty endures. Annalene and Penny, together with Zimbali's Out of Africa feel, promised, bar the rain, a shoot made in heaven. We selected clothing that will fit in with the location and with uh, the ambience of Zimbali Lodge. And I was looking, because it is an African look, colonial feel, the clothing also portrays that, or gives that feeling over. Very beiges, the creams, the browns, very earth and sky. And it's, it's, it's an elegant mix of clothing. Clean lines and crisp natural fabrics classically reflect Annaline's enduring sense of style. A style giving her designer, Sam Birkin, the chance to create his own fashion statement. Well, basically what I was doing in the new range was I was looking for a different angle in the way I was going to design the clothing. And um, what we came up was with a very versatile range that could be worn with anything, basically, mix and match. The laid-back tropical location was a perfect choice for clothes designed for stylish relaxation. And Annaline's relaxed, sophisticated approach to her range is testimony to her own newfound confidence and maturity. <laughs> Clothing actually grows with a woman. I think in your younger years you want sexy clothes, you can wear tight-fitting clothes and so forth. As you grow older and you have children and you have to be with kids and look after them, you need more comfortable clothing, but clothing that is still fashionable. When it comes to timeless fashion statements, Penny and Annalene are veritable icons, and together they make a formidable team. Evergreen Penny brings a deliciously mature and inimitably stylish elegance to the fashion mix. The clothes are really fantastic. They have wonderfully relaxed sort of look, and um, I think the best part is actually modeling these clothes in such a beautiful environment. You know, being in this indigenous forest here at Zimbali, and these clothes just are absolutely perfect <laughs> for the location. The location was truly breathtaking, and the model's perfect. <laughs> the crew was captivated by these veteran Venus's easy charm and undeniable professionalism. Both ladies seem to glow with that special something, which comes from sharing a passion for all things beautiful. Ben and I have been together and knowing one another for so many years and we've never had the opportunity to work together. We had a lot of fun. To work with Annaline has only been a pleasure and it really is great fun to see her again after all these years. Of course, it's a bit traumatic for me. I mean, after all, this girl's got youth on her side. <laughs> Photographer Gerda Genis set out to capture not only the classicism of the clothing and the majesty of the setting, but more importantly, the essence of two women whose lives have absorbed the serious business of international beauty and yet have retained that private sense of inner self. The main issue here is that we're dealing with two Xmas worlds, two absolutely beautiful women, women who've been known to be beautiful in their youth. But now they've become mature women, you know? They've left the girl stage and become women, and they've become real people for the rest of the world out there, not beauty queens anymore. And to show that they're still amazingly beautiful, as well as being real, is what we're really trying to do. For Annalie, motherhood and her now not so recent marriage to Peter Bacon have given her the focus and direction that has freed her to be really herself. Gone are the days of the shy girl from Vidbank or the sun girl of the lost city. Annie has definitely come of age. If I can recall, it's the first fashion shoot ever been done with the two Miss Wills uh, that South Africa produced. And for Sari to, to get them together is absolutely great. And I think our readers will enjoy it very much. Um, also, the fact that um, Penny uh, was, was Miss World in 1959, around there, and Annie in 1974, um, they, they kept contact with each other throughout the years, and having them here together, it's like two sisters working together. For many South Africans, both Penny and Annaline will always be two of the ultimate beauty queens. Bringing them together in a matchless setting with a touch of beauty and fashion class in a Royal Command fashion performance is the ultimate reminder that real women never grow old. They just grow up. You can see the finished product starring this vivacious duo in this week's sari.